inside CJ's, and in case you missed them, they have moved to a new location on Michigan Street in South Bend. And we are here with Cindy, one of the owners. How are you doing tonight? We're doing pretty good, thanks. First home game, we're excited about it. Yeah, let's go Notre Dame. Go Notre Dame. So when did you guys officially open this at this new location? Uh, we opened Wednesday the 18th. Uh, August? August, yes. Yeah, so this will be what we're going on a couple of weeks. Yeah. How's, it, how's it been going for you? You know what? It's been just wonderful. It's humbling for the community support we've had. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about the community, downtown South Bend. Everybody has been supportive and kind, and it's really rather humbling and very much appreciated. And you guys are celebrating your 26th year anniversary. You opened on, the t this is Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend 26 years ago. And I don't know where those time, that time went. It seemed like a blink of an eye. Do you have like a favorite memory? Um, gosh, I have so many. With my, well, I'm with my brother singing here and my sister and how we've grown through the years and all the great people we've met. So our, our, my best friends that we've met are our bricks and mine, a lot of them, we met through this establishment and they come back and they support us and I always call us the CJ's family. That's what he said and that's what I would say. Well, there are a ton of people here tonight. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased. I just can't say anything. We've just had great community support. Yeah. That I can tell you. Last time I was in here was when it was Rum Runners, when Rum Runners came here and they had that stage back there and I was surprised to come in and it's all been opened up and they're all tables and they're all filled with people. Well, what we did was um, when we moved from our old location, this is someplace my brother wanted to move before he died, we wanted to try to make it the flavor of the old with the new so yeah. we redid the wall and all the pictures went up and of course his pictures and through the years everything he's accumulated it's a little bit of the old but a little eclectic with the new and um, it's turned out very well and I'm very happy with it. So what kinds of things do you have going on during the weekend on the weekends? Well we run specials of course every night we run food specials and drink specials it's a poor economy on Wednesdays I'm not really sure on the schedule yet, but I think we're going to start DJ karaoke on Wednesday. And Friday night we do open mic, which is a lot of fun. And Saturday night we have a single or a duo. I kind of wanted to keep with the tradition of my brother here, who was a single entertainer. So that's what we're doing on Saturday nights. And um, we'll just see how it all works out. All right. You know what? Um, it's just, I have, I have nothing but good things to say about everything, and, um, you know, God's with us. I think, I feel like my brother's watching over us, and we'll go from there. We are speaking with Al Canola. I, I love it. Canola and beers. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? It's a nice combination. I'm doing great. We're having a good time playing here. Yeah, you sound really good. This is, I don't know where the rest of the band went. I think they're outside getting some fresh air, but they are the Unraveling Strings Band. Very good job. Yes, that's exactly what we and are. You guys are acoustic. We are all acoustic. We're playing a lot of 60s and 70s soft rock and some bluegrass and some traditional root stuff, and we just mix it up. What instruments do you play? I saw you playing with the mandolin. I, yeah. She knows what a mandolin is, folks. I studied music. <laughs> a lot of people have been walking up to me tonight and saying, what is that thing? It's, it's a mandolin, yeah. And then we've got a 12-string guitar and a 6-string and then an acoustic uh, bass guitar. I'll tell you what, CJ's has got a great crowd here tonight. They, they, have a lot of, they have a lot of people here tonight. So we're just happy to see that. We started out, it was a little quiet, but it was right at 5.30, you know, people hadn't gotten off work and gotten in yet. And now the place is jammed out. We're just having a great time. I was reading on the uh, brochure for Downtown South Bend for Fridays about your bands and the description they talked about how you can't listen to them without singing along. Like they're, they will make you sing along and I'm like, I'm just so sorry. I'm like, oh no, they won't. As soon as I got in here and I wasn't thinking about it, I was like, started singing. I was like, wait a minute, is that the Unraveling String Band? Damn it! <laughs> South, South Bend's latest feel good band, I think is what our publicity says. But yeah, you can't help but sing along. We, we do a lot of stuff that people can sing along to that they know. We'll be doing a bunch more in our final set. All right, well, I'll stick around and listen.